Please join us in welcoming the distinguished members of our platform party. Ladies and gentlemen, new COVID guidelines adopted by New York State tell us that if you are fully vaccinated and feel comfortable, you may remove your mask. For all others, we ask that you follow the guidelines and keep your masks on. Good morning. My name is Richard Larson. As president of the Stony Brook University Senate, I am honored to formally open today's ceremony. Here now in the presence of the candidates for academic recognition, faculty, administration, alumni, honored guests and friends of Stony Brook University, the State University of New York, per commence our commencement ceremony is hereby convened. Please rise as you are able for the singing of our national anthem that will be led by Heidi Schneider from our own Department of Music. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say that star-spangled banner yet o'er the land of the free and the Please be seated. <clears throat> it is now my distinct pleasure to present to you the president of Stony Brook University, Dr. Maury McInnes. Welcome to all present today at this historic commencement. 
Welcome to the members of the faculty and staff, to the parents and friends of our graduates, and above all, to the graduating class of 2021. It is my pleasure to introduce somebody renowned for his extraordinary service to the state of New York. Although he's a Brooklyn resident, he's been a tireless advocate for Long Island and a close friend of the Stony Brook family, United States Senator Chuck Schumer. Hello, Stony Brook. This is Senator Chuck Schumer, and it's my honor to address the faculty and staff the families and friends of the graduates, but most of all, you, the class of 2021. Everyone says your senior year in college will be the most memorable, and for many of you, it probably has been. The challenge of these moments are truly unique, but so has been our collective response. The fact that we're still celebrating this graduation it just goes to show that New Yorkers won't let anything stop us from honoring what's so important in life. Nothing can take away from the fact that you've earned a degree from such a fine institution of higher learning. So class of 2021, my message to you is simple. Right now, it may feel like the future is uncertain, but don't let the harshness of this past year prevent you from seizing new opportunities. And we need your help and your courage to rebuild our country even stronger than it was before. So to the graduates, I say once again, congratulations, good luck, Godspeed. Thank you, Senator Schumer. Thank you for being with us virtually to join in celebrating this remarkable commencement. Graduates, I can feel your excitement. Today marks our return to in-person commencement. We are celebrating scholars who have persevered and even thrived during remote and asynchronous education. And we're able to do it alongside the friends and family who supported them all the way. And that is something worth celebrating. And I'd like to begin by leading a round of applause, first for all of our guests here who have been integral in our graduates' journey. So graduates, please rise and give your friends and family a round of applause. And now, friends and family, it's your turn. Please stand and give a big cheer for the class of 2021. Graduates, you have learned and grown more in your time in university than anyone could have predicted. On this momentous occasion, let us reflect on the qualities that will distinguish our Stony Brook University class of 2021. Stony Brook is a place of community between disciplines, students, staff, and faculty, and neighbors and partners across the world. During their time here, our students make vital connections, friends and mentors who will buoy them personally and professionally for the rest of their lives. In a year of physical distancing, our class of 2021 learned different ways to collaborate and connect. You had to reorganize your home lives, prioritize health, maintain friendships, and adapt to new modes of learning. In the final year of your journey, you had to find community and connection during global upheaval. It was a daunting task. Yet time and time again, your class met this challenge with positivity, ingenuity, and hope. As the state worked rapidly to care for patients and fight COVID-19, our students ran test sites, provided medical attention, 
and use their knowledge in medicine and healthcare to keep our community safe. I am inspired by the way today's graduates have used their individual skills and interests to support one another. I am proud to say that with the leadership of the class of 2021, this year Stony Brook was able to conduct about 30% of classes fully in person or in hybrid form and keep the resident students on campus without any significant outbreaks. And that is a remarkable achievement. Also in the last year, our nation has made a step change in acknowledging past and current systemic racism. Students in the class of 2021 were on the vanguard in demanding racial justice and working to promote equity and inclusivity in their own departments and organizations, even in times of exhaustion. As the class of 2021 sets out to make its contributions to our society, I cannot imagine a group of students more capable of moving these conversations into action. In times of strife, we will look to you as a constructive voice and positive energy towards a better future for all. I recently had the opportunity to see the incredible art made by our graduating students in, on display in Zoo Care Gallery. And much of their work reflected on the longings of isolation and the emotional extremes of the past year. But significantly, it was clear that these gifted artists had found great beauty in unexpected spaces. They had found real human connection in their art. And this is indicative of the kind of emotionally complex, mature perspectives that will forever differentiate the class of 2021. In times of tumult, I know that we can turn to you for creativity, beauty, and perspective. Class of 2021, your unparalleled experience has given you a wisdom that was unimaginable just 18 months ago. You are leaving Stony Brook with lived firsthand knowledge of the human condition, with all its foibles, nuances, and possibilities. I submit that this commencement has unrivaled symbolic value. The world is opening up, and you are joining leaders in a new world with new possibilities. It thrills me to see the class of 2021 embark on its next steps. As you join Stony Brook's more than 200,000 alumni across the globe, we want you to stay connected with Stony Brook engage with our passionate community and consider this a second home to celebrate all of your achievements. Your track record is singular. You've graduated under unmatched circumstances, showing grace, determination, and resilience in the face of adversity. Your talent and experience will make an indelible impact on this world. You have seen the unexpected and pernicious challenges that life can deliver. And already, the class of 2021 has met those challenges and has never stopped learning. For years to come, we here at Stony Brook University will look with admiration at your demonstrated strength, your proven compassion, and your earned wisdom. Congratulations. Class of 2021. It is now my honor to introduce the president of the undergraduate student government, Asna Jamal, for a special presentation from the class of 2021. Congratulations, class of 2021. I am Asna Jamal. I am the president of the undergraduate student government and I'm excited to present this year's senior class gift. 
In the 2004-2005 academic year, the class representative and the dean of students established the student giving campaign, which allowed students like us an opportunity to give back and show our support for Stony Brook. Over the years, students have raised hundreds of thousands of dollars to fund meaningful initiatives on our campus. They have supported scholarships, student life, advanced the reach of the university's research and service missions, and helped to restore communities during times of need. Under the leadership of the Senior Legacy Council, the class of 2021 mobilized to continue this important tradition. As a result of their leadership and vision, many seniors have contributed to this year's class gift. You can identify these super sebos by the red and black generosity cords that we are wearing today. I would like to take this time to recognize my fellow executive council member, Jolena Podolsky, who has also helped with the efforts to push this initiative. So Jolena, thank you so much for your good and important work. As contributors, we are not only helping to leave our mark here at Stony Brook, but are also demonstrating our citizenship to the world and taking the first step in becoming active and loyal alumni. President McInnes, as the USG president, I am excited to report that the senior class has again raised several thousands of dollars to support the Stony Brook Fund for Excellence, general scholarships, the Student Emergency Fund, Student Life, the Scholar Center, and many other important parts of our university. We hope that our contribution will allow us to leave a lasting legacy to the university and community. To my fellow graduates, thank you for contributing, and I look forward to seeing you at homecoming on October 23rd. Congrats, Seawolves. Thank you, Asna, and I'm thrilled to be able to report that the class of 2021 has raised over $24,000 for Stony Brook University. And now I'd like to introduce this year's student speaker, Kiara Arias. Kiara from New York City is graduating with her degree in political science, as well as minors in journalism and media arts. She has been a highly engaged and trusted student leader at Stony Brook, serving as the Director of Diversity and Inclusion Affairs for the Undergraduate Student Government, a resident assistant, and a digital journalism teaching assistant. She has also completed marketing and communication internships and served on several university committees focused on student engagement at Stony Brook. After graduation, she will intern with the American Civil Liberties Union. Please join me in welcoming Kiara. Hello, Stony Brook graduates. I'm Kiara Arias, and just like you, I'm proud to be part of the class of 2021. I'm grateful for the opportunity to share a few reflections with you, our undergraduate and graduate students, celebrating this milestone today, both here in person and virtually. When I think back over my four years at Stony Brook, the first word that comes to mind is unforgettable. We've interacted with and learned from so many diverse people from all across the world through our classes, clubs, and campus events. We spent many late nights studying, hanging out with friends, sharing our life stories, and having fun. We've been mentored, challenged, and supported by Stony Brook's faculty and staff to be our best. We've been cheered on by our parents, family, children, and loved ones. We've developed important leadership skills that'll take us far in life, We've taken part in some of Stony Brook's best traditions, like Roth Regatta and Midnight Scream. And we've had to explain to our family and friends back home, what's a sea wolf? Part of our collective experience is that we all have faced challenges along the way towards earning our degree. We've worked hard to achieve success, but we've also overcome obstacles. During my first week at Stony Brook, September 3rd, 2017, in the late evening to be exact, the residents in Simpson and I faced a short-lived challenge. That's the night the lights on campus fizzled out. People panicked, but the RAs, always ready, handed out glow sticks in the hallways and urged everyone to remain calm. While we were thrust into darkness for a short time, the lights soon returned and our lives went back to normal. While this was only a momentary test of our resilience, it foreshadowed the significant challenge we would all face a few years later. In March 2020, the COVID pandemic affected everything in our lives and many people in our campus community experienced uncertainty, loss, and isolation. But as Seawolves always do, we again found light by working together, taking one step at a time, and never giving up. Through it all, we learned that whatever we're confronted with, whether it's a blackout or a pandemic, we're unstoppable. 
Our time at Stony Brook has been filled with so many great experiences surrounded by incredible people. Stony Brook has given us the space to chart our own path, make our own mistakes, help us be comfortable with the idea of not being perfect and given us the confidence that we have the tools to be successful. As we look to the future, I encourage us all to continue finding beauty in the ordinary little things. And when we do this, all moments become memorable and we'll find ourselves smiling even on our worst day, giving our lives a whole new meaning. Congratulations, class of 2021 graduates, we made it. Hi everyone, my name is George Leibowitz, and as the doctoral chair for the School of Social Welfare, I am honored to recognize the accomplishments of our doctoral programs who have earned their PhDs. Putting a graduate who has completed the requirements for a doctoral degree is a symbolic academic ritual that celebrates many years of study and investigation. It is an important and significant moment for both the graduates and their faculty. I invite President McGinnis and Provost Goldbart to join me as the candidate and her faculty come forward to be hooded in the presence of this assembly. Good morning, I'm Dr. Richard Morgan. I will be introducing the two doctoral candidates. I've had the honor of sponsoring both of these doctoral candidates. Uh, joining us virtually today is, our, is, is Jennifer Hike, our first doctoral candidate. So let's recognize Jennifer. And here with us today in person, I'd like to call up Kristen Colson. And joining Kristen will be a member of our faculty and her uncle, Professor Marvin Colson. Well, good morning. As provost, it is my privilege to present to you our master's candidates. The master's is an advanced degree signifying the acquisition of specialized theoretical and practical knowledge beyond that required for a baccalaureate degree. Master's graduates must demonstrate advanced analytical skills, complex problem solving, critical evaluation, and independent scholarship appropriate to their chosen fields. Will the candidates for master's degrees please rise? <laughs> President McInnes, it is my honor to acknowledge the accomplishments of these candidates. Candidates, please be seated. I am now honored to present to you our undergraduate honors candidates who are graduating today with distinction. Degrees with distinction are conferred upon candidates who have completed at least 55 credits at Stony Brook, have letter grades assigned to at least 80% of their coursework, and attained the requisite GPA in their program. The levels of distinction are cum laude, graduating with honor and representing the 85th percentile of all students, magna cum laude, graduating with great honor and representing the 93rd percentile, and summa cum laude, graduating with the greatest honor, 
representing the 98th percentile of all students. Attainment of a degree with distinction is indicated on each of these students' diplomas and on their permanent academic record. Will candidates graduating with the distinctions of cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude please stand and be recognized. <laughs> President McInnes, it is with great pride that I present to you this year's honors candidates. <laughs> honors candidates, you may be seated. Now, please join me in welcoming Jacqueline Mondros, Dean of the School of Social Welfare, but not quite. <laughs> After six years of distinguished service as Dean, which have seen remarkable strides for the school under her extraordinary leadership. And after a career featuring 86 commencement ceremonies, Dean Mondros is moving on to the next phase, next and very well-earned phase of her life and career. Thank you, Jackie, for your extraordinary service and accomplishment. Congratulations, class of 2021. You did it. Today, you join the noble profession of social work. Your being here today is testimony to your excellence, to your dedication, your resilience, and your fortitude. Despite the historic challenges of COVID-19, you remained focused on your studies, you continued to work with clients in your internships, you worked overtime in your communities finding ways to help, all while fulfilling work and family responsibilities. This year, the social work attributes of persistence resilience, courage, and adaptability have taken on a new and urgent meaning. Your time with us has been spent navigating deeply challenging situations. And while this is a time like no other, I am certain that each of you will persevere and you will learn from this experience. The lessons in times of crisis are indelible and will serve you and your clients in more ways than you now know. Your graduation is testimony to your strength, but we know you could not have done it without the help of your family and friends. May I ask that the faculty and graduates rise and applaud the family and friends for their support Now, more than ever, the profession of social work needs you. Today's world is challenging, and social workers are engaged on every front, in health and mental health care, on substance abuse, homelessness, decarceration and abolition, on children and family policy, on worker rights, on immigration, on racial, gender, and LBGT plus rights. The battle for justice is the fight that social work wages. It's exasperatingly slow, it's unremitting, and every victory obstinately difficult to achieve. To do this very hard work, we must squarely face our own biases. We must learn to reach out to people who see things differently than we do. 
We have to be relentless in our commitment to justice and ending inequality and racism, and yet skillful at bringing people together to work on what is common amongst us. We have to both self-reflect and we have to act to make real and significant change. I have no doubt that our wonderful faculty and staff has prepared you well to do this work. Our school and the friends you made here will be a strong network for you throughout your career. Will you agree to applaud them with me? I want to end by sharing a Buddhist parable that has kept me going over the years, and I hope it will sustain you as well. It is the story of a man who was walking along a beach and came upon a person who seemed to be dancing. As he got closer, he saw it was a young woman throwing something into the ocean. The passerby called out, what are you doing? The young woman answered, I am throwing starfish into the ocean. But why, asked the man. The young woman said, the tide is going out, and if I don't throw them back, they will die. The man laughed. He said, but there are miles of beach and millions of starfish. You can't possibly make a difference. The young woman listened politely and then bent down, picked up another starfish, and threw it into the sea past the breaking waves. She said quietly, it made a difference for that one. That is what social workers do. We make a difference every day to every person in every contact. Every single one of you has contributed something to the school and will, I know, bring your gifts to our profession and to society. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and alumni of the Stony Brook University School of Social Welfare, congratulations, class of 2021. <laughs> President, President, President McGinnis, it is with great pleasure I present to you this year's candidates for the degrees of Master of Social Welfare and Bachelor of Science for the School of Social Welfare. Thank you, Jackie. It is now my honor to invite President McInnes to join me as we recognize today's candidates. As we call the graduates to the stage, we will first present graduates who are in person. We will then call the names of all graduates joining us virtually and from home. Diana Acevedo Schmidt. Samantha Amadeo. Takima Anthony Bay. Bianca Aravello. Amy Bears. Danielle Barnett, summa cum laude. Gilda Barrera, cum laude. Ashley Becker, cum laude. Melita Bonilla, magna cum laude. Naji Bo. Marissa Canino. Emily Carrillo. Tanjil Chowdhury, magna cum laude. Linus Chun. Brianna Coach, summa cum laude. Catherine Davison, magna cum laude. Winnie De Los Santos, magna cum laude. Mm -hmm. 
Sheila Delval. Tiara Familia. Familia. Gabrielle Freund, summa cum laude. Nicole Goldstein, magna cum laude. Jonathan Gomez. Alicia Gonzalez, magna cum laude. Kathleen Hanilek, magna cum laude. Michelle Hartman. Daniel Jara Palomino, summa cum laude. Jessica Javorowski, magna cum laude. Samantha Katz, magna cum laude. Alex Kiho, summa cum laude. Emily Korzewinski, Jessica Lee Manuel. Coriana Lapara. Emily Lohan, summa cum laude. Evelyn Lopez Rodriguez, cum laude. Kimberly Maldonado. Christine Martinez. Sophia Mastrodea. Daniela Menjavar, magna cum laude. Deanna Meslin, cum laude. Christian Moffitt, magna cum laude. Allison Marusi, summa cum laude. Nicole Nieves, magna cum laude. Kira O'Brien. Christian O'Connell. Teresa Presti, summa cum laude. Hannah Purdy. Angela Rizzo, summa cum laude. Daniela Robles, summa cum laude. Rachel Saline, cum laude. Sifi Sejon. Michelle Salas Alberto, magna cum laude. Brianna Scully, summa cum laude. Sarah Smith, summa cum laude. Haley Suko, magna cum laude. Tara Trueheart, magna cum laude. Samantha White, magna cum laude. And Kara Wissing, summa cum laude. We'll now begin the MSWs. Oh, Megan Dillon, cum laude, sorry. Now the MSWs. Caitlin Abreu. Mariori Alberici. Elizabeth Alpert. Xiomara Arango Medina. Catherine Arizaga. Melissa Barr. Karen Bajana. Kelsey Benavidez. Kadian Williams. Jennifer Batista, Laura Benzal, Zachary Bear, Victoria Biancaroso, Pamela Bieria, Jennifer Blyer, Joseph Bota, Randy Bragg. Jennifer Blyer, Joseph Bolta, Randy Bragg, Olivia Brangatius, Laura Braun, Allison Brockington, Stella Combet. Nayab Brown, Jessica Campbell, Joan Campbell, 
Christine Cantrell. Vincent Caparasso. Christina Chabuski. Nadine Ciarduli. Amanda Clarkson. Kathy Shea Brown. Amanda Clyburn. Christopher DeRosa. Heather Cleary. Taylor Conroy. Lajani Colwyn. Dana Consoe. Aaron Conway. Elizabeth Cook. Jessica Cortez. Thomas Cronin. Christine Crowther. Emily Cullen. Michelle Svetkovsky. <coughs> Allison Dam. Geraldine Delgado. Talia Delamarco. Jacqueline Detouris. Allison Dolan. Laura <coughs> Dooling. Emily Dragon. Mara Dubler. Emily Dugan. Florence Eddy. Danielle DiMartino. Casey Weinberg. Jacob Levy. Caroline Colella. Brent Bainon. Jamie Del Preti. Michaela Donahue. Claire Charles. Gloria Donai. Brittany Fleischer. Brianne Dorney. Nadiatu Ordrago. Amanda Datiari. Jasmine Dassey. Danielle Lewis. Tayana Pierce. Veronique Watson, Carol Gray, Caitlin Eichhorn, Julie Erdman, Louisiana Estevez, Nikki Filiberto, Julia Fetter, Casey Flanzarek. Nikki Fogarty, Raquel Forbes, Dylan Galasso, Antoinette Galino, Kiriaki Katanas, Katrina Ganji, Mary Garrity, Lucretia Gill, Kara Godis, Michaela Godstrey, Elizabeth Goldfarb, Kimberly Guerrero, Taisha Guerrero, Christina Guevara, Rachel Guglielmo. Carissa Gulli, Jessica Marie Gutierrez, Carolina Guzman, Francesca Haley, Ashley Halverson, 
Tiffany Hardy. Michael Harris. Samantha Hentenshell. Christina Hernandez. Aaron Herzog. Ligia Hill. Peter Hopfenzitz. Erica Huckstadt. Leslie Ann Hutchinson. Matthew Imbrogno, Stephanie Jean, Samantha Marie Anesti, Portia Johnson, Gino Jordan, Kelsey Kalafut, Judith Kamali, Edine Sampson. Makita Gibbs, James Kelly, Andrea Keltos, Gina Kiernan, Allison Klepang, Michelle Koenig, Romunasco Krasner, Thomas Legalanti, Melissa Lax, Christopher Lau, Courtney Leone, Jay Lewis, Arlind Limanowski, Melissa Loglisi, Amanda Lopez. Jocelyn Lopez Cordero, Carolyn Lorenzo Bautista, Vanessa Luna, Veronica Lundstrom, Erica Lundy, Dylan Mangano, Annie Manor, Georgie Mantovani, Evan Marcos Gonzalez, Allison Marman, Lisette Martinez, Luis Marzella, Morgan Mastrangelo, Robert McAlevey, Sophia McCann, Caitlin McDonald, Danielle McMath, Jessica McNamara, Jocelyn Mejia, Morgan Meyer, Alicia Aponte, Marissa Miller, Wendell Miller, Catherine Moore, Danica Millington, Laura Malloy, Elizabeth Montaruli, Sarah Moyer, Melissa Murphy, Marcella Nicotra, Brittany Elschlager, Lori Ann Novello. Laura Nugent Carter, Jonathan Okendo, Justine Padilla, Shoanin Palomeke, Lady Paredes, Gina Patalano. Tatiani Perry, Nicole Pettis, Kimberly Pierre, Jesse Power, Amanda Prescia, 
Richard Prevete. Nicole Rondazzo. Robert Reifert. Caitlin Reynolds. Melanie Richardson. Jasmine Roberts. Christy Rockefort. Mackenzie Rogers. Caitlin Rodriguez. Liz Melody Rosario. Nicholas Rosetto. Katie Lynn Russell. Vanessa Salazar. Josephine Santagata. Courtney Schroeder. Mary Josephine Smart. Kara Siegel. Melissa Smith. Robert Perez Mendez. Dina Spanos. Joanne Spataro. Jenna Standish. Eva Stachangeli. Samantha Stein. Melody Story. Caden Sullivan. Heather Sussman. Celeste Sayas. Kelly Tarazano. Marcia Thompson. Chrisan Wright. Sarah Trina. Martha Vasquez. Dana Walsh. Marlanda Vern. Brandy Walters. Jifong Wang. Ashley Wyman. Alexander Wilson. Dina Wolf. Fatma Yanbul. Brianna Zariello. And joining us virtually, Manod Alphonse Narcius. Danielle Arabello. Noreen Ashad. Mira Biller, Vanessa Attard, Emma Block, Lisa Brander, Sarah Kaduri, Leticia Canty, Stephen Cesarski, Gina Chinese, Victoria Carrera, Austin Debra, Gertina Doris, Jessica Devlin, Andrew Dillon, Lindsay Drapala, Kadida Edwards, Brianna Femia, Catherine Fumai, Basilica Gatzonas, Jean Goldenberg, Quentin Green, Brittany Hart, Luis Hidalgo, Paolo Hurtado, Paul Pascal Joanne, Alexander Camp, Anne Marie Knox. Natalie Corba, Chrisan Chrisan, Jacob Cooperman, Natalia Latigua Mancibo, Christina Lee, Chloe Mackey, Dawn Macarius, Amanda Macarius, Brittany Misildine, Sarah Moore, Brianna Nappi, Liliana Olenschlager, Tayana Pierce, Robert Perez Mendez, Nadira Persad, Thomas Pika, Dallas Prusi, Fredlene Romaine, Julie Ruggiero, Andrew Sadler, Shafiq, Matthew Skirazina, Sandra Topin, Tho Tran, Raymond Vutrano, Jessica Younger, 
and joining us virtually from the School of Journalism, Matthew Catarazzolo. At this time, I would like to invite all candidates for doctoral, masters, and bachelor's degrees to rise. President McInnes, these students have met the graduation requirements set by the Board of Trustees. As the representative of their faculty, I am proud to present them to you and respectfully request that you confer upon them the degrees and certificates for which they are qualified. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and upon recommendation of the faculty, I confer degrees upon all of you who have completed the respective requirements with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. As tradition goes, there comes a time during the ceremony when the graduates are asked to turn their tassel from one side of the cap to another, signifying the earning of a degree. You are now graduates of Stony Brook University and may turn your tassels from the right to the left and toss your caps. Congratulations, class of 2021. We conclude our ceremony with a special alumni message and presentation of our alma mater by the spirit of the Stony Brook Marching Band. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. On behalf of the Stony Brook Alumni Association, congratulations to you, class of 2021. Good luck with your future endeavors. Congratulations, Sea Wolves. I am so, so proud of you. You did it. I cannot wait to see what you accomplish. Go out and conquer the world. I am rooting for you. Flowers to you. Congratulations. Hello, class of 2021. Congratulations on achieving your goal of graduating from Stony Brook University. Congratulations to the class of 2021. You guys did it. Welcome to the alumni family. Hey, class of 2021. You've had to overcome many hurdles this year, but you've persevered and accomplished so much. But don't stop now, this is just the beginning. Congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations to the Stony Brook University class of 2021. You've endured a truly historic senior year and nothing can stop you now. So get out there and show the world what sea wolves are made of. You're now armed with a great education from one of the nation's best universities. It's time to go out and make your mark on this world, just like the 200,000 plus alums who've come before you. To the class of 2021, congratulations. Enjoy this day. And remember, you're a sea wolf for life. Congratulations, class of 2021. My name is Rob DeBrower, class of 87, and president of your alumni association. Congratulations again, stay connected, and involved. Congratulations, class of 2021. Welcome to the Alumni Association.
raise a grateful cheer, for so he won. Congratulations to our graduates and all of our, their families. Our ceremony is now concluded. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank <laughs> you.